channel this is my second attempt at filming this and the first time my nails weren't chipped but alas now they are so we're just gonna have to deal with it I suppose today's video is going to be a sort of you know planner update I don't feel comfortable filming plan with me's because I take forever to film them. I take such a long time, or not film them, but I take forever to actually do them and like complete my spread. And I don't know, I feel like you guys wouldn't want to sit through and watch me contemplate what would look good and all of that jazz. But I am pretty proud of my past couple spreads, so I think what I'm going to do is every couple of weeks or so, I'm going to show you guys the spreads that I have done and talk about the shops and the stickers and all of that good stuff. So the first thing I want to do is kind of go over, you know, just the basics first. So obviously this is an Erin Condren. If you heard that, that's my cat. She wants some attention. So you might hear her little bells on our collar for a little bit. But like I was saying, this is an Erin Condren vertical planner. Uh, this was actually given to me by Andrea from Scribble Prints Co. If you guys are, you know, using planners, uh, you most likely have heard of her. But I was complaining on Twitter that I wanted one and she was kind enough to just be like, hey, I'm gonna send you one and she sent me one and I'm so grateful and thankful so thank you Andrea if you're watching this and if you guys haven't heard of Scribble Prints Co she makes the most amazing planner stickers so her shop will be down below so this is just the watercolor background with a quote on it that she chose for me it says nothing can dim the light that shines from within and I believe this is a Maya Angelou quote so you will most likely notice that I am weird and I do my spreads differently. I only do midweek spreads. Unfortunately at this time I don't really have enough money to do full week spreads. So in order to save money and save stickers, I just do midweek spreads of either, you know, just one one half of the week and then have no stickers or anything on the other half. Or what I do is I just do two different themes in one week. You'll see what I mean in a little bit. But this is my spread for the week of November 9th and just the first half of the week. So really it's just a spread for Monday through Wednesday. And I did sort of a Midwestern themed, you know, midweek I guess you could call it. I made this spread focused around the southwestern style stickers from the Alex Studio or they're changing their name to Little Dog Paper Co. Zooming you guys in to talk about the specific stickers. These blank headers are also from that southwestern style set along with these two circle stickers. This asterisk sticker is from Scribble Prints Co. This washi is from Hobby Lobby. These stickers right here, these tan style stickers, are actually the stickers that come in the back of the Erin Condren and I just kind of derpily trimmed off the top so it would be a little bit more square and then I put them in various places in the rest of the spread. This blue washi right here is from Target. This emoji sticker is also from Target. They have the emoji stickers in the sort of like gaming game card section in like towards the front of Target. This watercolor paint stroke is from the Alex Studio or I should probably get used to referring it as the Little Dog Paper Co. These arrow stickers are from sticker sheet that I got from Hobby Lobby. There was free coffee that day because the Eagles won so in my area if the Eagles win we get free coffee and for once they actually won so I used a sticker from Mila Print shop to denote that and as you can see when I mentioned that kind of cut it off and put it in random places here's one of them this call sticker is from a sampler from Mila print shop these three stickers are from the southwestern Alex studio one as well as this this was from a scribble prints co sampler this planner attic sticker is from the reset girl this washi is from Hobby Lobby and this is the same washi as earlier I'm trying to move more towards a sort of no white space sort of spread, but 
I know I probably won't fully reach that, but this was my first attempt and this was actually, you know, one of the first spreads that I really tried to fill up as much space as possible. So here is an example of how I do two different sort of themes uh, per week just so I can, you know, use up my stickers, still decorate, but if I don't have enough stickers, this is what I sort of do. So this was my first attempt at a basically no sticker spread. As I previously said, your girl doesn't have too, too much money to be spending on stickers right now. So I still really enjoy decorating my planner. So I thought that this would be a good alternative. What I used to doodle in this is this Sharpie pen. It's super fine tipped. It, it, oh, it just writes like a dream. And now I don't even want to use a regular black pen when I write in my planner. I always want to use this. To get some inspiration, I just kind of looked up, you know, doodling videos on YouTube and it was actually strangely calming. It kind of reminded me of like ASMR where, you know, just the noise and just watching them do it is just so strangely calming. So I attempted like a Zen Tangle flower and I don't like how it turned out because how do art? I'm not good at art, so these are all kind of crappy beginner stuff, but I think I'm going to be doing a lot more of these and maybe if you guys would want me to, I would probably be open to doing a doodle plan with me because I feel like, you know, this took me a lot less time than cutting out scrapbook paper, which you will see in my next spread, and sitting down and deciding, okay, what looks good. This is pretty straightforward. So the second half of the week was November 26th to the 29th. This was the Thanksgiving week, but obviously I didn't do a Thanksgiving spread. I chose to do a nautical one instead because your girl loves nautical themed anything, and I figured, why not? So this whole spread was based around these nautical stickers, but what I liked about it was that it still had a sort of fall vibe with the browns and the oranges. This was my favorite spread I have probably done so far. It's not quite as cluttered as my previous spread that I used stickers for, but I think that it looks even better, even though it's less full and not quite, you know, no white space. I think this was the perfect amount of coverage for what I was working with. So as you can see, I do have some full boxes, but these are not stickers. What I did was I used scrapbook paper, and I forget who I was watching, but they were using scrapbook paper too, and I thought that was so genius. I think it's a great alternative if you can't afford stickers, but you still have a lot of scrapbook paper at home. And I really liked it because it looks really good as full squares. You could probably never guess that these were not stickers unless you can see how, oh, I hit the tripod. Unless you can see how derpily I cut them out. I think they're a great alternative for those who are looking for more cost-effective planning. So the orange sheets are from Target and these brown ones that say today are from Hobby Lobby. And these were not single sheets, although that would be a great alternative as well, just purchasing one sheet that would last you a really long time. These were actually in books because I made Beautiful Beard Guy scrapbook and so I have lots of scrapbook pages. Like I mentioned before, these nautical stickers are from Vintage Gypsy Road. The whole spread was planned around them. I used my Sharpie pen for this. This is just, I believe, Bic colored pens. Same washi that I used in the last spread from Target. I used some of the headers from the Alex Studio or Little Dog Paper Co. Same thing with these two right here. They're from the same Southwestern kit. This teardrop is from Scribble Prints Co. This Be Thankful Always is from a random sticker set that I caught at Marshall's. It was a Thanksgiving, you know, sort of phrase sticker set. And lastly, this washi is from Target. The next spread that I did was November 30th through December 2nd, and I chose an Alice in Wonderland themed because Alice in Wonderland, if you guys didn't know, is turning 150 years old this year, and it is my favorite Disney movie. I love Alice in Wonderland so freaking much. I believe July was the actual month that Alice in Wonderland was celebrating their 150th anniversary. There, her, I don't know what pronoun to use. I know 
Lewis Carroll was a boy, but moving on. The whole spread is themed around these Alice in Wonderland stickers and these are from Mare Bear Crafts. This full box is from Mare Bear Crafts. I believe this was from her June sampler set. So it's been a while, like I said in my last haul, I've kind of hoarded these stickers and intended to use them during the summer, but all I did was, you know, work. There was nothing exciting going on. These two page flags are from samples that she sent. These two sort of full box and half boxes with the patterns are actually scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. Same thing with these two. These are from Hobby Lobby in that same sort of random sticker set that I got from Hobby Lobby. Most of these stickers are from Mare Bear Crafts, so this is from Mare Bear Crafts as well. So like I mentioned before, all of the Alice in Wonderland stickers are from Mare Bear Crafts. This mushroom is from Vintage Gypsy Road. This sticker with the wine glasses clinking is from Scribble Prints Co. This washi is really crappy washi from the Dollar Store. And this to-do list is from Mila Print Shop. I am slowly but surely becoming more and more proud of the spreads that I do. So if you guys like these you know, planner update videos, just let me know. This was my birthday week and I decided to theme it around all the Halloween stickers that I have as well as the Gypsy sticker sheet from Vintage Gypsy Road. And this spread is just so me, like this is me in a spread. So I love it just because it totally reflects my personality and I don't need it to be Halloween to use Halloween stickers, just like I don't need it to be summer to use nautical stickers. Like I mentioned before, this is themed around my Halloween stickers and the Gypsy sticker sheet from Vintage Gypsy Road. So this pickled punk or, you know, preserved body, it says boy on it, is from Vintage Gypsy Road, as well as these star and sun pictures. This emoji sticker is from the same Target sticker set that I mentioned previously. This hello sticker was actually from Marshalls and it was in a random sticker sheet set that I got but I absolutely adored it. These two full boxes are scrapbook paper that I used. This black washi is from Target as well as this holographic washi. You can't really tell but it's holographic and uh, you guys probably don't know this but I love anything holographic. So right now it just kind of looks like stripes but Trust me, it's holographic. This page flag is from the same sticker set for Marshalls as this. This black teardrop is from Scribble Prints Co. This black cat is from the same sticker set that I got from Marshalls. Emoji stickers. These two strips of washi are from Target. These arrows are from the Hobby Lobby set that I mentioned previously. This small cat sticker is from the Vintage Gypsy Road sticker sheet. Spiderweb is from the Marshalls one. Stars, Vintage Gypsy Road. This is the same pattern as before. Black washi Target, holographic washi Target. I haven't used many different shops, but all of these shops that I have mentioned will be linked down below. So that is it for my planner update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I kind of felt a little weird filming this one. I don't know. Do you guys like this? Let me know in the comments down below or by thumbsing it up. If you thumbs it down, again, just give me some feedback. What would you like me to do to make this video better? Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!